You don't wait for the sound of the shofar. You know, I'm doing I, I'm doing aliyah in three weeks. Up until a week ago, I lived in New York. A week ago, we sent our stuff to Israel. I came now to Los Angeles for a month to do a round of lectures, and then we're heading home. After many years that I wanted to go to Israel, and my Rav kept telling me, no, in the, you're in the United States, you're going every night, and you're helping people to become closer to Hashem, you stay here. So still, since you, the army, you came here and you stayed here? I'm here 17 years. 17 years. Wow. And now we're making Aliyah Bo Hashem. Our stuff is on the ocean. Wow. So if you want to ask my personal opinion, Jews belong in Eretz Israel. They have nothing to do here. They need to sell their stuff and pack their stuff and leave. That's my opinion. I know some people don't agree. How old are your kids? Uh, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Okay. And one so cooking. Age, it's never easy. I'm not saying that it's easy. But when somebody asks my opinion, my opinion is the Jews belong in Eretz Israel. They don't belong anywhere else. And the sooner they go, the better. That's how I saw things in the universe. In the universe, like you see that yeah. now it's like... The only time I would tell somebody to stay is if they're really, really growing in their spiritual life and if they go to Eretz Israel and they will fall, better to stay here. You never know. You know. A person can know where they're holding in their level, mm -hmm. but the only time, I'm, for years, I wanted already to go back to Israel. And... Half my efforts is to get people closer to Hashem. My other half is to send people to Eretz Israel. So with my efforts, I sent hundreds already of people to go to Eretz Israel. Where do they live? Now? Where do they live? Uh, all everywhere. Oh, yeah. they, they choose by themselves. I just give the people the, the awareness. And you know what? The, this, the last year, I already see people by themselves coming and telling me, there's no future here. You see already by the physical way, People here, it's not the same how it was 10 years ago. Money is harder, business is harder, education is harder, everything is harder. Now here we're still floating. Look what's going on in Europe. So I'm, I don't like getting too much into it because I, I move from my... Yeah, from your, I know. But the bottom line, if you ask my personal opinion, Jews belong in Israel right now. Mashiach is coming very, very soon. It's not a dream. It's not a... Hallucination, you know, the, now in Israel they made up a word, Hazui. It's not. It's coming. It's literally coming. And any, what's Hazui? Like imaginary, like uh, hallucinative. But the bottom line is, it's very, very soon. And it can happen any day. Like you said, can I wait for Mashiach to come and then move? Yeah, you can do that. Because when Mashiach will come, Nekabetz Arba, Me'arba Kanfot Aretz. But... You know, I, I want to be in, in Eretz Israel when it's happening. I don't want to be here. Tzfat is amazing. I'm just joking. I'm I'll just tell you what, Israel, you know, each, each <laughs> thing in this world is built from four elements. Yeah. We know, fire, air, water, and afar, and earth. Wait, Al Hashela. Okay. Same thing in Israel. So whoever his soul has a very strong part his fire, the element is, be, you know, more of it, then his soul will get more drawn to Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim is the element of fire. Whoever in his soul, the element of air is more stronger, then he will be drawn to a place like Tzfat. Tzfat is the air. So each person, his soul takes him where he belongs in Eretz Israel. Each person is re being positioned from Shamaim. If you now live in LA, it means from Shamaim, that's where you're positioning is in the world, which means when you do a mitzvah in LA, you are making space for Hashem in this world, in your place in LA. It says in the Torah, we're going to read about it in a few weeks, Hashem says, Make me a, a dwelling place, a mishkan, and I will dwell in you. Now it says in Hebrew, betocham, plural. Should, it should have said, betocho, in him, one mikdash. The reason why it says betocham, because if I make my body a sanctuary, Hashem will dwell in me. And that's the main thing. There's a big question in the Midrash, why did Hashem bother to create this world? So the answer is very simple. Kadosh Baruch Hu had an urge to have a dwelling place in this world. And how does he have a dwelling place? 
by me doing mitzvot right here. I create a realm that Hashem has a place where to dress in me and dwell in this place in the world. So every person where he's positioned, that's where the supreme supervision put him there. So when you go to Eretz Yisrael, you know, some people like the south, some people like the north, some people like Yerushalayim. That's already there. Every person likes something different. But going back to your question, if you ask my personal opinion, because I know a lot of people don't go by this opinion, my personal opinion that the Jews, doesn't matter where they are, they belong in Israel, and you, you should make, you, any person should make whatever plans they need to get ready. You don't want to get the tweet, Mashiach is here, and be like, oh, I don't even have passports. So, I'm joking with the tweet, but the thing is that you said, I, uh, uh, is it okay to hear the Mashiach is here and then go? Of course it will be good, because when Mashiach will come, he will make the place. But uh, until Mashiach comes, Jews have to, uh, you know, it's the end already. You see, just by, if you look, the, the physical structure of the universe, you see how the world is moving. And you don't have to be a genius to kind of analyze what's going on in the world to know where we're holding. So my grandmother, you know, died, died a year and a half ago. She was 92 years old. The tzaddik said he was in the concentration trap. My grandmother survived also. And they ran out of Germany when she was 16, not like a little girl. And she told me a couple of years ago, when she came to visit me, she was like, what's going on here right now? is what happened in Berlin in the 30s. It started that we were millionaires. We had everything. We controlled the entire country. We were bankers, investors, everything. And then it started that I wasn't allowed to go to the same piano lesson with that girl. And then it started that I couldn't go here. And then it started that I couldn't do this and I couldn't do that. And before you know it, 10 years passed and we were nothing. So, the world doesn't really like us. Not that I don't want to go into that direction. But the bottom line is that Mashiach is coming very soon. They didn't have it 80 years ago. But we have the option of... That's where we belong. The sooner you get there, the better. You, you know, if you have older kids, younger kids, each one has his own difficulties. I have a business here, I have property here, I have this here. Fine. So in your own pace, don't, don't wait for the... Bill. That's my own opinion. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. And so thick. Yes, but he gives you the Bhirach of Sheet. To do Chuba. Yeah. Whoever doesn't keep Torah and mitzvot on the land of Israel technically gets kicked out. That's why you see in the last 30, 40 years, half of the Israelis got kicked out of Israel and half of them did tshuva in the Galut and starting to come back. Just look at the, at the, at the how do you say, netunim, the, the information. From the 60s, half the Jews started going out of Israel. They started being kicked out of Israel, how are you saying? Not kicked out physically, but spiritually. Yeah, the land spat them out. And most of the Israelis who came out to the Galut, to went to America, North America, whatever, they become more observant or became completely religious and they're starting to come back now. So, you know, that's also Hashem's plan. It's much easier to do tshuva outside of Israel, because in Israel there's so much kedusha so much holiness that if you're not on the side of the holiness you're on the other side of the other side of the holiness which is as bad as how high the Kedushah is in Israel so the Tumah, the impurity in Israel is as high as how much Kedushah is in Israel yeah 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 unless you connect yourself to Gashem Well, that's another way of the, the other side of holiness to blind you. Oh, it's very nice here. The Gashmute here is very nice. Big house, big car, nice driveway. 
We lived in New York now. New York is a horrible city. I don't know even what I did there for 17 years. We came here now to Los Angeles. Beautiful trees everywhere. 83 to degrees today. My friends in New York are in 17 degrees shoveling the snow. And we're driving. My wife is like, wow, why don't we come live here? <laughs> Told her it's nicer in Eretz Israel. Don't worry. So we're not going to have a big property. Well, let's... Yeah. When somebody focuses on the Gashmiut, if you're focusing... It's not my nature to focus on the Gashmiut. I'm still very, very difficult. Yeah. If you're not connected to Hashem mm -hmm. in Israel, it's almost impossible. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. The only time I will tell somebody not to go to Eretz Israel is if they're really climbing up here, yeah. that if they go to Eretz Israel, they'll fall down. And a lot of people do. They think they're, you said, how do you know? You feel when you're strong enough. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, they went to Eretz Israel, they're like, Woo, wow, it's too much here. Mm -hmm. And in one week, they, they, they would lose their, their, their achievements. But if you're 100% with Hashem, Vatem advakim b'Hashem elokechem, chayim kulchem hayom. If you are 100% holding Hashem, no, not 90%, uh, then you'll be good in Israel. And it's still hard. The Gemara says three things. One of them is Eretz Israel. It's not easy, but the zchut of just living in Eretz Israel. Yeah, I don't know if she understands Hebrew. I'll repeat it. She's so, talking about what I said before, about building the bridge between you and your parents. Now, if you want to really build the... I should have the microphone over there. Baruch Hashem. Amen. Amen, amen. כל הכבוד. תודה רבה, גם שהשם מעורך אותך בכל מכל כל. נזכה לראות אותך בארץ גם. Hold on for a second, he was waiting so long. יש לך שאלה? You had a question?